Hello, one and all. This is one of my tacos. Welcome back to Let's Play. I was about to say Open XCOM. No, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. When we last left off, I'm going to drop the hazmat suit in order to grab this EMP grenade because we're going to get way more use out of that EMP grenade. Ooh, is Gunther in trouble for going on a murderous rampage? To be fair, I did help him go on the murderous rampage. Aha! Box! Goodies! Ooh, lockpick! Pretty good goodies. I can't wait to get to New York and finish the job. Something else I should do at this point. After we talk to Paul. Get again. inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office. Let us whoops, wrong screen. Let us go to our skills and see how many points we've accumulated. We have accumulated two thousand three hundred points. To get to another point in low-tech weapons, we need 2,700. So another 500 points, and I'll upgrade that. There's 115. We're almost there. Way to go, sir. I thought Gunther was a goner. Yeah, I helped him. Also, we have President Philip Meade. Check in with Manderley on level 2. So everyone keeps telling me. Loading screen to move from one area to another. Welcome to the Yanatko theme. Let's drink a lot of water. You can see JC in the mirror, spazzing out with his right hand. I don't remember if this one ever runs out. It probably will. It's out. I have consumed all the water in Yanatko. I truly am the perfect machine of war. Come on in. The retinal scanner can read blood vessel patterns right through your sunglasses. Pretty nifty. Probably because they couldn't take the sunglasses off the model. This is strength infinite, door or lock infinite, strength door infinite, I whatever. There's a lot of fighting topside. Getting in there is pretty much impossible. Whoops. Agent Denton authorized for entry. Remember that Mr. Manderley wants to see you. Level two. I haven't His forgotten. Secretary, Janice Reed. Has your login and password. How on earth could I forget at this point? We could break into this office. The door strength is infinite and it would cost us three lockpicks. All we can see in there is what appears to be another lockpick. We finally got to cap some rebels, eh, Denton? Yeah, mostly stabbed. Capped a couple. This is much the same, but there's a weapon modification in there. Hell of a first However, day. Because of the run I'm doing, I'm not super crazy about the weapon modifications, because you can't weapon modify a pistol. This is our office. You found your office. Did Janice give you your login? I guess not. Let's see. JCD, password, bionic man. Sometimes there's a thing on the desk. Not today, though. We are JCD. Whoop. JCD. JC Denton. Password, bionic man we can check our emails greetings and nanotech briefings from Jaime Reyes it says J Reyes but I know it's from Jaime you can talk to us about certain stuff nano augmentations and us all oh, stuff and nano neck yeah nano augmentation stressors just fluff stuff really you can pause and read those if you want to. Your partner for the next assignment, Anna Navarra, is in the adjoining break room to the east. Maybe you should introduce yourself. This is door strength 50 and has just an ammunition in it. I don't think we can stab it open. Not yet, but one day. We can come in here, we can look at President Meade again. And we can see these two, and they're about to have... Wait, no. Not yet. No? Maybe. In this particular room with Gunther is going to be one of the more famous conversations in this game. Is it Are now? Are you sure you pressed the it's right this, button? It's this one. Okay. I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. 
Gunther is complaining about the soda he got from the soda machine. Let's talk to him. Forget how Agent Navarra is not friendly. She has every life to give for her partner. Doesn't really have much to say for us to giving him a pistol, though. You should get moving. Hello, My Anna. partner, Jesse Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. My vision is augmented. At least it is a way that we know when it's not bowed. Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be briefed by Mr. Manderley. I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. He will not be the equivalent of his brother. I have seen that he knows the procedure of a good offensive. Let us hope you are right. I won't let you down, Agent. That dialogue we got from Gunther because we gave him the pistol. There is a public access terminal here. It will tell us a bunch of stuff. Talk about terrorism, more terrorism. It will talk about the NSF. It will talk about something called Silhouette, which will be important later. We'll talk about the triads and other stuff. Lots of important fluff, fluff stuff there. There is a terminal. We will hack for the money. No one will mind. Money. Again. They I won't will mind. not forget a favor. Always have trust for me. Will do, Gunther. Will do. Ah! I managed to close it on myself. Let me through. I'm important. Let's make a save, because we haven't done that since we've been here. This is locked with three picks. This is our punishment for not putting points in the lockpick. And as you can see, because they're listed as door strength infinite, they're pretty hard to get open by smashing them. But, because they are door strength infinite, that means there's a key. You know, the well, NSF it had usually so many means the there's NSF a key. Won't try that trick again. Not always, but usually. We can come into here talk to her. Good work out there, Mr. Denton. Mr. Manderley said you handled yourself nicely. Welcome to UNATCO HQ. Our little family keeps getting bigger. Is Mr. Manderley available? Yes, go right in. By the way, your computer account is ready. Log in JCD, password Bionic Man. Alex already told me. Thanks. And we have a nano key. UNATCO closet key. Oh, gee, I wonder what these are. Closet and closet. Yes, I already knew that trick. This is, however, still locked. It would require most of our lockpicks to get it open. And here we get a pepper cartridge. If I wanted to spray people. Tell you what we're gonna do. We are going to quick save, just like I just did, and we're going to lockpick this. And I will determine if it is worth it, because I can't remember what's in here. There it goes, slowly. We have a multi-tool, of which I only have one, and a bioelectric cell. I tell you what, trading lockpicks of which I have quite a few for multi-tools of which I did not have, I consider a fair trade. The bioelectric cell is just a bonus. Before the briefing, you've got to go to level 3 for your equipment and a medical examination. See Jaime Reyes in the med center and Sam Carter in the armory. We gotta go quite a few places. Including the restroom, but not now. Well, that was a close one up there. We actually want to go down this way first. We want to go to medical. Talk to Jaime Reyes. Get some points for searching around. You we're going to be talking to very shortly. We have a data cube here. And we received some kind of important note. But I can't figure out where it is in there. That usually means you found like a passcode or something. We have... Something here that's pretty heavily locked. A dead body from a dead terrorist. Books we could read. 
somewhere around here is his aha yoink don't mind if I do we are rewarded with a medical kit five lock picks for a medical kit if you didn't find that key hey JC you look like the real thing they actually let you operate on people just fix Gunther's knee in fact a sticky actuator. So far, I feel more like a mechanic than a doctor. I'm impressed. They actually let you point a gun at people. We'll have to catch up later. I've got to leave for New York right away. Can you send Manderly whatever it is he wants? No problem. Listen, JC, about your augmentations. You know they're preparing to roll out the technology worldwide, right? As long as I don't turn green and grow a pair of antennas, as I understand it. Yeah, well, the design's pretty modular, which means you'll soon have access to upgrades from standard augmentation canisters. I think I picked one of those up at the top of the statue. Maybe you did. My order from Versalife was on the ship the NSF captured. You'll need to take it to one of the medbots for installation. I'll do that. The canisters contain a colloid of ROM modules. Some are generic upgrades, others require you to make permanent choices about how to configure one of your subsystems. It's about time they implemented some of this stuff. Notice he said permanent choice. You old kidder. Careful. I don't remember if Jaime gets upset for hacking his computer. Well, we'll find out. You old kidder. Hacking noises. He has no emails from the user account, but we can switch to Jaime, and we can look at all of this stuff. Again, stuff you could read if you wanted to. One more thing before I go, since you've been briefed on my augmentations. What can you tell me about the info link? Let's see, micro-receiver exostructure in the sulci, mechanocarbon threads on the axons. For queuing, you know, packet routing. Anything particularly interest you? Is there a way to turn it off? The info link? Yeah, or is someone at UNATCO tuned in 24 hours? These might sound a little funny, JC, but I'm not permitted to answer that question. Your clearance is higher than mine? Regarding your systems, I am your physician. No big deal. I was just curious. Interesting to know. We can't turn the infolink off. Carter's out the door and around the corner. He's got your stealth pistol. And that is something I've been looking forward to getting. Let's deal with the nano augs. The medical bot. We have an augmentation to do, but first we're gonna have it heal us up. Been needing that. Right. We have an augmentation. We can put it in our arms. We have only one arm slot, I believe. Looks like there's only one. Our choices are either microfibal muscle. Muscle strength is amplified with ionic polymeric gel micro or myofibrils that allow the agent to push and lift extraordinarily heavy objects. I always take microfiber muscle because it lets you lift things you normally couldn't lift, and that gives you access to a lot of paths in this game that you normally could not access. However, the other one is interesting. Combat strength. Certain routers accelerate calcium iron concentration in the sarcoplastic reticulum, increasing the agent's muscle speed several fold and multiplying the damage they inflict in melee combat. This increases the effectiveness of melee weapons. If I'm doing a melee weapon run, which what looks like I'm doing, we need combat strength, or we're gonna want combat strength. So. No longer shall we be able to move heavy objects, which is going to make this a very different, very different Deus Ex run for me. I instead will have great strength in combat. Now, when I activate that using the F6 key, which I will be rebinding those as I use them more often because the F keys are way far away, we have a thing here and we're not going to be allowed in here at all. Um. Uh, but now when I use the F6 key, I will become a lot stronger with my melee weapon. Which means I could stab people even more effectively. And at the end of the day, that's the goal. So let's close that and come here into 
this area. You're getting warm. We will find Alex soon enough. Candy bar, chocolate, all stuff we don't need anymore. We can hack this terminal, and we will. By hacking into it, we can access all accounts on it. We can log into any terminal as, as JC Denton, but we'll only get the emails sent to JC Denton. There are a lot of things on this account. And if we are in here, longer than that bar will allow us to be, we get the alarm set off, and that'll make everyone mad. So we're not going to stay in there to read all those emails. You're red hot. Looks like you found me. Yep, Alex is right over there, but we're not going to go visit Alex just yet, because there's a secret here. I don't know every single trick in this game. I've played it a few times. I've seen quite a few Let's Plays. I mean, again, this is a game that pretty much everybody should be familiar with at, th at this point, but I'm still going to treat it as if not everyone does. There is a scope modification. That mat okay, I believe, is for this closet. Let's close that again. There are two ways in this one. The other one's over here somewhere, I think. Locked! Hmm. Changed Herman Pastor to Zetgeist. I guess next week it'll be Schadenfraud. I actually don't know what nano key I got, but I can check. Uh, office door code, your key code. Ah, to those offices that we couldn't open before. We can play some pinball. I'm actually quite fond of pinball. <laughs> like leading a mouse to cheese. This thing is starting to give me a headache. Don't worry, we shut it down when you go off duty. I guess I'll get used to it. I'm Alex Jacobson, communications engineer. I suppose you already know who I am. Getting there. You're certainly quicker on the uptake than your brother Paul ever was. Thanks. You can check this. Okay, enough goofing around. Ah! We could have opened that code without hacking it. Don't worry, I'll be watching your back. Compare this Let's Play to, say, my... Neverwinter Nights Let's Play, in which there are a thousand locked things, and almost none of them, pretty much close to none of them, have keys. In this game, if it's locked, there's there's usually a key or a code for it, and if there isn't, you probably weren't meant to get in there anyways, like, the, like that security door up front that I said we'd never be getting into. If you're patient, you'll find the key to just about anything in this game. At ease, Agent Denton. General Carter, I read about the Merced operation in school. This is a great honor. I'm not a general anymore. Just call me Carter. I can't believe what the NSF did to your family. Enough of that, soldier. We each have our troubles. I lost my children, but you've had to grow up without your parents, which requires more courage. I don't think it matters. My parents died in a car accident. That's different. I said that's enough. You have your own op and time is short. How about I issue you a stealth pistol? Sorry, sir. I can't carry anything else right now. We are going to drop something to get that stealth pistol. We're going to drop this for now. Actually, no. We're going to drop our regular pistol. Because the stealth pistol so is the same ammo. A stealth pistol and... What else do you think you'll need? Hmm. We can ask for more ammo. A multi-tool, the tech tool, or a regular lockpick. I want the nanotech tool. Can you spare a nanotech tech tool? A man who uses his head. I like that. Now move out. Manderley's waiting. Hey, what about that guy out front selling munitions? Is that allowed? Oh, Captain, right. We've got some screwballs around here, but he's not the problem. It's whoever's been breaking into the armory. Someone at Unaco's a thief? Yes, sir. And a damn good one. There's some stuff behind him, but getting into that room at this time is impossible. So we're not really going to worry about that. We now have a stealth pistol. It is different from the regular pistol. I believe it does less damage. I believe it's got less range. But it comes silenced. Variant of the standard telemetry pistol with a larger clip and integrated silencer designed for wet work at very, very close ranges. And it uses 10mm ammo. This was the pistol I was waiting on. And this one we're going to be holding on to for quite a bit of time. We're going to put accuracy on it. 
The shotgun I don't really want. As a matter of fact, the shotgun I should be dropping at some point. Anything I can put on the gap gun is going on the gap gun, because we're keeping the gap gun for the whole game. So if I can put reload on the gap gun, we're keeping reload on it. The only thing I can put that on is that, and this is the laser sight, which... Um, I'm going to put here. We're going to hold on to these other two, because I don't really think I'm going to have any clip issues with this pistol. And I did already put a thing on it. That is a weapon I can see myself using quite a bit. We've cleared up some minor inventory space. Alright folks, when we come back, more Deus Ex. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all later. Take care, and bye-bye. The forest moved down there. See you later.